what would be the effects on other fish? Now, you've got Murray cod, you've got Australian bass, yellow belly, like priority species like that. CSIRO research used to define the scope of the NCCP appears to contain a number of technical oversights, leading to the development of conclusions that do not appear to be supported by the body of work described. The, the infection trials which uh, Dr McCall undertook are far from conclusive and far from satisfactory. Um, not only did they not attempt to replicate the results to, to determine the, the reasons why other non-target fish, so those other than carp, trout, and so on and so forth, um, died in such high numbers in those experiments and even showed clinical signs of gill necrosis, rotting of the gills, which is a, um, a classic symptom of koi herpes virus. Um, they, dis they discounted um, infection in other um, another species in, with inadequate just, justification, in my opinion. So here's the virus. We're growing it in a culture on cells. The koi herpes virus, as it's known, is found in the wild in more than 30 countries, although none have introduced it deliberately. It can't infect other species. We've looked at um, about a thousand fish in total across 13 different species that I native species that I mentioned, and the rainbow trout. Really, we believe that we've covered all bases. However, questions have been raised because some native fish also died in the laboratory tests. A couple of instances where, um, say, silver perch were injected with the virus, and they found the virus um, by PCR in the gill, uh, and in the Murray cod, um, they give them a bath, and then they found the virus in the kidney. So this tells me that the fish has been viremic, actually took on the virus, and circulated it systemically. So uh, they've tested all those species and what they did is they, they got some infected water and they bathed those species in the water. They also um, injected those fish with uh, the virus in quite high concentrations to be really sure that they won't develop the disease. Do you, are you aware of, did they give a reason for discounting that evidence? What, was there some... They apparently didn't see a uh, replication of the viruses in the tissue, which um, I don't think they went into adequate detail to really to, 
really investigate that. So how? It, it, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. It, it, the, the study is far from conclusive, and um, they they came up with some excuses like there's cross contamination, um, and in the in the laboratory, in the, apparently the most biosecure laboratory in Australia, there was contamination between their experimental pools, their groups. So that's worrying in in the sense alone that these scientists are contaminating between you know, experiment, experimental trials, but also that other fish did show signs which were consistent with symptoms from koi herpes virus. Um, data from the transmission trials by the NCCP uh, actually showed higher mortalities in the non-target species than the carp that they were trialing. Is, is it determined that the deaths were caused by the virus? The, so that particular study, which is really a cornerstone study for all of the NCCP, they did not determine the cause of deaths in those natives, but they stated that under the criteria that they had selected for determining infection, that the fish were not infected and therefore they couldn't be affected. But the problem with that uh, conclusion is, as Dr. Lighton uh, suggested, many of those fish displayed carp herpes virus-like symptoms and then were not tested to find out what actually caused the deaths of those fish. They simply stated that it could not have been the virus because it did not reach the infectivity uh, thresholds that they had determined. Yeah, so well, don't know what killed them, but we, 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 um, but it wasn't the virus. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes we couldn't find any evidence of what was actually killing the fish, except in all cases we looked for evidence of the carp herpes virus, and never was there any evidence of that present. If, if it was determined that it wasn't the virus, right? If it was determined that it wasn't, a vi what wasn't the virus, why would you not determine what it was? I mean, if you've done a test to say it's not the virus, that's what you're testing to, to see if it works, why would you not determine what did it? If, if it was my study, I would look to do that, but it, was, it wasn't my study. They determined that... Uh, by the criteria they'd set for infection, they didn't believe that uh, the deaths could have occurred by infection and you would have to ask the authors as to why they didn't investigate that further. So the test found that the fish weren't infected? By the, by the criteria virus. they set, yes. What does that mean? What does by the criteria they set well, mean? I mean, either they're infected or they're not. It, it's not so much my area, but infection can be defined in uh, a number of ways and it can be tested for in a number of ways. It's not 
universal. Yeah, I, I need to move on to Centre Paddy, but the analogy would be from our white spot program where one level of testing they declared no virus, mm -hmm. and then uh, by varying the sensitivity of some aspects of what they'd done, they declared the virus was in, in the prawn. So yeah, what, what, I, what I understand Mr Falconer to say is in terms of the test confined to those parameters, their result was negative, and we've, we've seen that in white spot. <coughs> But I think uh, Mr Falcon is challenging that if the test perhaps had been done a different way or the other way to explain it would be to find an explanation as to what the, 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 the fatal... The, the second one.